We finally get the piece done, they go inside, and my assistant director leans over and he goes, boy, I'd give anything to be able to do that. I said, do what? And he said, to be able to just talk in front of 2,000 people, spontaneously even, without a script. And also, holy cow, my knees went out from under me, thinking about what I had just done. And I got it. It had nothing to do with the incident, 100% to do with where I was. I went from being, here's what happens when you are, whether it's standing in front of a crowd as a speaker, or any one of many other things, being self-conscious, which is when I'm thinking of myself. I'm conscious of myself. Okay? I went from being self-conscious to being other conscious. While I stood up there, it wasn't about me. It wasn't about me being the entertainer. How are they, what are they going to think of me? How are they going to pay their money to come back and see my show again? It was about, there's people out there, and I need to keep them interested. I need to provide something for them, to contribute to them. And I was so focused on them, I couldn't focus on myself. We can't focus, totally focus 100% on two things at once. Oh, it's the best advice anything that I could ever give anyone who is ever going to stand up in front of a group. And I've still seen it happen where somebody, it's happened to me. I've been up in front of a crowd and I've said something, just throw it off the top of my head and some crazy joke or, you know, maybe it was, turned out to be an off-color joke and I didn't realize it and everybody's eyes kind of roll and I'm going like, you know, they're all, you can tell, they're all going, I can't believe he said that. And so I'm going, I can't believe I said that. And all of a sudden I'm thinking about myself and oh my gosh, what are they thinking of me? And then that leg starts to go. As soon as that leg starts going, oh no, they know my leg's going. Uh oh boy, I bet my hair's flopping up and down. Good thing I'm not wearing a toupee. I'd lose it right now. You know, and then I'm thinking about that, and then I start thinking about this, and oh, what are they going to think? You can start to get so caught up in yourself, you could fall apart right before the very eyes in a matter of seconds. Or the second that starts to happen, you can say, this isn't about me. Whatever, whatever it is I said, they know I'm up here trying to contribute, and that's all I care about is contributing. I'm going back out to you. And I look at you, and I focus 100% and totally on you. It doesn't matter if there's 20,000 people in that room. If you focus on the people out there and forget yourself, the fear's gone. It's a great tool. And it works in other areas of your life, too. So we're, what we have here is this thing, this total psychological head game that we're not stuck with. The most important thing is that I overcame a terror of public speaking that fast the snap of a finger, just as you did with your roller coaster ride, at the snap of a finger. So I first want to get across to you that this isn't going to take 20 years of psycho psychotherapy. That there are things that you can, that have been stopping you forever, that you can turn off like a switch the minute you really get this.